Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollow Knight in the last episode. A lot happened accidentally, which is the best kind of uh, content. Um, so last episode, we tried to go back and see whatever this little dark tunnel was that was in Crystal Peak. To then fail and fall down here into an area that's called the Resting Grounds that we can't see because I never bought the map. Um, we also got the item called the Dream Key and fought a dream boss and yeah so that was that we also found out about the dreamers that's what i was trying to remember we also found out about the dreamers and i told you all about how we're gonna have to get them we also I know it's a lot, because I'm trying to remember everything we did, because I never did any of it on purpose, which is the, again, best kind of purpose. Um, we also got an upgrade for our descending power, which is called the descending dark, which does a lot more damage, and I think that's about it, other than getting a lot of essence. Now we're in Deep Nest, one of the biggest areas in the game, so let's go continue on through it, because that's a lot of talking. We're going to head to the right because we're heading to the right. And that's that. We're also heading to the right because it's fun. Yeah, the right is... That was an accident. The corpse of a Capote. That's the only way to get that corpse. So, yeah, remember where that is. I definitely didn't remember that that existed there. I know that sounded sarcastic, but I swear to God, it was not... Not intentional. And we can't head over there. That is one of the many... That is the first of many gates that we will find that are like that. What is that? It's a dark gate that we can't quite travel through yet. And when I say yet, I, it's obviously that we're going to be able to go through it at some point. Just not now. Right? That's kind of how all these games work. If you haven't been paying attention, you stupid fuck. Um, sorry, I didn't really mean it. I mean, I meant it, but, you know, I mean, it, it really is on you. You should have known better. Stop being such an idiot. Either way. Um, yeah, we'll be able to come back to this point and go right through it. It's just that we don't have the right upgrade for it yet, and that's okay. This area is the worst. I actually did this area before leveling up my health in my own playthrough second time around, and I forgot it existed. This is exactly what I dislike. And it's not quite true. I like it. I think I like the challenge of it. It just sucks that I have to redo it every time. And I'm stupid, so I have to... Then I have to redo it because I'm dumb. And that's the worst reason I have to redo something. Because you're dumb. And then that happens. And you and you die to the centipede. And you're gonna cry. Yeah, it's whatever. I took a physics test today. And I did fine. So I'm not really all that angry. And it doesn't even look like there's anything at the end of this area. I'm just, you know. Deep Nest is hell and i'm happy we're getting over with it now doesn't mean we're gonna be completely done with it of course not because that's hell is not over ever but what it does mean is that what it does mean is that we will be finished for the most part with deepness we will have to come back here but there are a lot of easier ways to come back here after you've completed the area and kind of gotten the majority of everything so that's good, at least. No. Okay. 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 Okay, look, Shade, you little bitch. Yeah, this, this centipede part sucks. It's just a lot of damage. The area. And that's all I can really say about it. Yo, I got hit by that spike. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna scream. Oh my god. 
Well, if we don't find anything entertaining or do anything exciting this episode, I know exactly what to make the the title slash thumbnail. This fucking platforming section. You will come in five seconds if you play this platforming section. Dude, I love ads like that. Now, I know I basically just... Did I just kill a corpse? I did. I know I basically just, you know, uh... Revealed myself. But, like, come on. I mean, I think we all knew this. I don't know what's here. Oh. Something. Oh. Neat. Uh, yeah, but the ads where it's like, You will come in five seconds! If you play this game, I came 14 times in five seconds because I played this game. Look at this dude. Men hate him. Women fuck him. It's, it's incredible. I love ads like that because they're so dumb. But they grab my attention because they're just, they're funny. They could be just the grossest stuff on it too, which is just hilarious. Um... Uh... <laughs> It's, it's just so funny. Like I said, it's just... It could be gross stuff on it, or it's like the words are just like, You will come 15,000 times in five seconds if you play this game. I came in two minutes. I came twice in two minutes because fuck you. And that's it. That's all you need. Also, we, <laughs> we upgraded our soul. Uh, that was cool. That's neat. So now that we have upgraded our soul, I believe we only have six more sections of soul left to get, but not six more sections. I mean, six more uh, things to collect to upgrade our soul, which is nice. Um, but with our soul upgraded, it means that we've added one more circle onto this little blip we got here. And it allows us to... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm... Okay. It allows us to hold more soul if that wasn't obvious enough already now what does this mean for us shit more health uh, a lot more damage gonna be able to be done because of soul things um i don't know that kind of stuff god damn it we have to come back later this area is important but we can't do anything we need, it looks like a key. I know exactly where that key is. I just thought it was closer. But this is my life. Either way. What was I talking about? Why oh, I hate this area. Uh, coming in five seconds. Uh, I'm trying to relive all the moments. We up Oh, we upgraded our soul. Yeah, we can do more stuff with our soul. And that's always nice. It, it Once you fully... Actually, I can show you right now. I don't want to take that off. I actually want to show you the map. That's really important. Keep that in mind. Thank you. If we stand in these little saunas, uh, it gives us soul. I think we've talked about this before. As you can see, it fills up that little blip. Now, if I use our soul here, we have three little th slots. It gives us one more slot of soul so we technically have four uh we have four spells or four heals or whatever however once you've like drained it or you're trying to um use that other section that you got there you have to wait for it to recharge before you can use that next section and that's crucial because if you don't let it recharge then you won't be able to use it now you you know you might be thinking to yourself, Brian, or Crash, or whatever the fuck you want to call me. I always go Brian first because that's my name. I don't, you're not going to do anything with that information because I've, there's a lot of guys named Brian, so I, I'm not worried. But, you know, Brian, they're already seeing those enemies in, like, the beginning areas, and you'd be correct. What you're not correct about is that they're the same enemies. Maybe not with these guys. Maybe not with them. Keep very careful watch on them, though. 
Maybe not on them. But we continue on. Just watch them. Just watch their bodies. Okay, maybe not them either. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's one of these folks. Damn it. You gotta believe me. Maybe it's you. Nope. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Oh, it is. They turn into f bigger monsters and they're scary and they hurt. Um, and that's their whole shtick. So, yeah. That, that's really it. Um, it's just important to note that they exist. Are they very difficult? Not really. Um, it's like... It basically doubles their health. You just gotta hit them twice. But just know that they exist and that they can be a pain in the ass at times you don't want them to be. That's it. Um, oh! Zote. One of the three reasons I came to be here. What was the first reason? I don't remember. Um... I remember the third reason was to say... Well, the second reason was to save Zote. Because I already spoiled it to you that he was going to be here. And then the third reason was to get Hera because I spoiled that she was here. Now, I don't remember what the other reason was. Oh, because it's a living hell and I wanted to get it over with. I remember. We can't go over there yet, which is sad because I want to go save him. But we can't really do much with him right now anyways. So, we'll go around. Now, before I said that if you left him, he would die. And that only counted for that last area. If you leave him here, he stays here forever. Sadly for us, yeah, that's kind of our life. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, this area is filled to the brim with enemies that we don't like. Luckily for us, we've upgraded our nails to the point where they only take two hits. But if you're not upgraded to this, they take three and they're hell. Trust me, I when I was doing this on my second playthrough of this game, forgetting that this existed and forgetting that they existed, um, this area was hell. But it's not really once you know what you're doing. And come over here. We've saved Zote. Hey... Oh, what are you doing, you clumsy little oaf, swinging your rusty little nail around in the darkness? You almost struck me, and if you had, it would have been in the end of you. Trust me. I am Zolt the Mighty, a knight of great renown. My weapon, Lifeender, has struck down hundreds of foes. Be gone, or you'll be next. Okay. Bye. Yeah, he's uh, introduced our... him... he's introduced... the words. He's introduced himself to us three times now. He forgot that we, exi we have existed three times now. Neat. All right. And that is basically the only reason you need to go up there. Is it the only reason? I don't know. Okay. I, I did that second one for a reason because I didn't know where to go. Or like how to get up there. But this one... This, this one was meant to be good. Oh, you son of a bitch saved my life, so thank you. Yo, where do I go? Where does a brother go now? I don't know, but I'm getting hit. Uh, huh. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess down over here. A little farther down. I think down is a good place to go. Down and then to the left here. This is an area I think we have yet to be. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Good money right there. This area is just... So there's so much shit everywhere and it's all shit. There's nothing of good value here. It's just all shit. And we can't even... Oh, we can't. Never mind. It's just shit. And will I always stay by those words? Yes, because it is. It's just shit in a basket in my own words. It, that's, that's all this area is. It's just terrible. 
and I've never felt so bad about this area until I have to record it. Literally, I did not even care about the, this area until now. And that's not even a lie. I didn't even think it was this bad. Genuine on God, on Jaw too. I've just... I thought this area was like... Like, I can see how it's bad, but I never really thought of it as bad because... If you go through this area and just kind of explore by yourself, it's not bad in a sense of just exploration. But when you're trying to record and kind of keep it like, you know, as some, with some structure, it does become harder. And if we sit right here, we get a little scribble on our map. And we see, holy shit, we like doubled the area. Yeah. And we still have half the area to go. It's crazy. This area sucks. God. Uh, what's your name? I don't remember. Cloth. This whole... Oh my god. This whole area swarms with deadly critters. Biting, burning, and scratching types. I thought to test my strength against them. Now that bravado has left me and all I feel is tired and sore. Fair. Okay. And I agree. This area sucks. I've only said it 14 million times. Yo, I straight up don't know where we're going. Ooh, where am I going? I don't... There's an area we've been to. Good to know. We've been over here. Keep that in mind. I actually would like to return once I have came. Uh, have we been here, though? Yes. Okay, now, you know, step one of going through new areas is finding where to go. Step two is to just do good. So, there's that. Yeah, those worm, these worm things suck as well. Knowing that we have to kill a bunch of them is even more fun, because you can't complete the hunter journal without killing a bunch of a certain enemy type. So, coming over here again is fun knowing that you have to fight these guys again because you never see them again because they're terrible enemies that deserve to only stay in the deep nest because they are terrible enemies but they give you a decent amount of geo because they just spawn enemies so there's that too i know i'm complaining a bunch and i'm sorry if you find it annoying but just trust me on this like this area blows but health so that's nice. Yo, guy, don't do that. There's something over there. And there's no way to get back over here. This looks like a, like a, almost like a train or like a tram car-esque kind of thing. Yo, fuck off, guy. I don't need this right now. I know these enemies get even worse, too. I don't remember where they get worse, but I just know they do. Why was that shortcut even there? I don't even know at this point. Oh my gosh. Look at there's so many of them. Oh no. You know what? I know exactly what to do. And I guess that's just hold my, my life here. So we got a tram pass. Um, and if you were... Oh god. All right, you see, the Descending Dark is so powerful, it basically kills them in one shot. That's what we want. That right there is why Descending Dark is amazing. But if you remember uh, earlier, we went to an area that kind of looked like a tram. And it's important that I say that because it was a tram. It was, exact, it was exactly what we were looking for when we were going through that area. Also, I guess we never killed one of those life guys. Good to know. Uh, we need to kill nine more of those guys. Are you kidding me? And one more Crystal Guardian? Where are we going to find another Crystal Guardian? Dog, I don't know. Come, yo, guy. Yo, G.I. Joe up here. Please, thank you. Luckily for us, um, I don't need to go and hunt those worm guys. I can just kind of hunt the normal flyy guys and they will kill. Which is nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually we're going to completely return back to the bon not the bonfire, the tram, 
and here's why. I want to return back because, well, yes, we want to go in the opposite direction. There's something, uh, but can it wait? Nah, I'll just do it now. Might as well. Yeah, I've kind of done the one thing I wanted to do here for right now. And by that, I mean, I kind of did one of the things I need to do right now. So, yeah, we can go over here. Um, yeah, so we're going to return back to the... Words. We're going to return back to the little cave area. And by little cave area, I... <laughs> Fucking dude, I cannot think because of this area. We are going to return back to the bench and sauna area because it has something we need. And also, we are missing something. There's something here. I know it. I know this sounds weird, but there's something I'm missing. I can feel it. This is this is good. This is a real big brain moment here, but there is something here I'm missing. And the question is what? And better yet, where <laughs> I know this sounds crazy but I'm getting a big brain moment here and I'm sensing it I don't normally sense things like this because I try to ignore these feelings but there's something nearby here, and I just know it. Where, I don't know. But I feel it in my bones. Oh, what's up, Coral? We're not talking to you because I don't want to fucking talk to you right now. <laughs> no, it's nothing personal, kid. I just... I, um... I think I'm going insane. Because if we remember earlier in the episode... I think that was this episode. You will remember we went to that area, and we saw a little... A little replica of us hiding away in a little and it was in the bottom left corner I pointed it out but not fast enough for you guys to really see it if you rewind the video to that point you'll definitely see it but he was there why because I don't know okay so now we have the tram pass we've opened this and we've opened the tram we can rest here, and it acts as a nice little bench, which is nice. Now, what does this mean for us? It means another means of transportation. We currently can't travel to Deep Nest very easily. But where we can travel to is this area. How so, you might add? Well, this area, if you want to go down here, is connected to well another area we head upstairs and come all the way up here we'll see that this uh, never mind hold on we'll get to it I promise I'm just being stupid you see that this has connections obviously to the city of tears because we're seeing city of tears guards here now, trust me, I had the same thought when I came through this area. Where the hell are City of Te C Tears... Oh, fucking words. City of Tears guards coming in here from? I didn't even, I was there. I don't remember them even being near me. I don't know this area at all. So where could it have been? And that is a mighty fine question. Frankly, I don't know how to answer it for you too well. But I do know... That if we come over here, do this... Get this. A little, a little journal. So that's neat. But we head back. Which is really what I want to do. 
head all the way over here. You'll see that brings us to an elevator, which then, if we continue up the stairs, and by stairs I mean definitely an elevator shaft that was definitely torn apart. Uh, we head up here without hitting any of the spikes that are around here because it's just not needed. And none of these areas actually bring you to anywhere special other than give you um, epic. Other than give you okay, let's uh I hate these guys. Other than give you ge geo, not gems. This is not Spyro for fuck's sake. You come over here. <laughs> And welcome back to the City of Tears. Where is this? An area we have yet to be. Because if we head to the left, also four hits. Just like to note that now. It's kind of what we're going up against right now. We head over here, head more over here, head even more over here. And open this, it brings us to here. The main section of City of Tears, which is, of course, connected to every other place that we've been. So, <coughs> that's good. What's also good is that I have yet to even show you the vendor that's up here. I completely forgot that he existed. And now we're going to go do that. Now, I know I'm doing this all in a weird little way, but I'm doing it on purpose for a reason. It's Relip Seeker Lem. Hey, hey, come searching for rare items, have ya? Well, hands off. This collection is mine, and I won't be selling the grubby little Wandiers. Wandiers? Well, can't speak. Still, I imagine you come across many interesting items in your travels. Maybe you can... You'd, maybe you'd care to take part with some? I'll offer a fair trade of each. So, giving him items, you'll see that he will give you Geo. This is it worth it? Dog, of course. The only issue is that <sighs> this text is like repeated over and over again. I'm not going to read it. Um, the reason is that it sucks is that you can't sell it in mass quantities. You just have to mash X. So, yeah. Now, I'm not going to spend my other stuff here because this will give me 1,800 and this will give me 800. But I'll take 2,000 just fine. Why am I taking 2,000? There's genuinely no reason. I know there's normally a reason. There's no reason with this. And coming all the way around, we're going to head back to here. I remember saying it, that we need a simple key. We finally got a simple key in the, the other area. And welcome to a third area. Now, what are we doing here? Well, what, what, what do you think, silly? We're here to explore, but not yet. The reason we're here is actually just... And when I mean just, I literally mean just. I am an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, we are actually here. Oh, fuck, dude. We are here just to get the get the whole point of the area and realize that it's there. It's also connected to other areas we've been, and it would be nice to actually connect them. However, I'm an idiot, so now I have to go return and get the stuff. So, yeah, let's do that. <sighs> Luckily for us, I'm a professional, so I'm, I'm fine. I should have sat at the bench, but I didn't for reasons. And when I mean the bench, I mean the tram bench. It's important that you do that because it will save you a lot of time. Uh, luckily for us, we don't actually need to like collect anything or sell anything to anybody. We just run straight to that area and pick it up. I was just being dumb because if you hit something that explodes or get hit by something that explodes, it does two hearts of damage, and I'm an idiot and forgot that. I actually just needed a little bit more soul so that i could slam down and i forgot that you can't do that if i just went up again i think the enemies would have respawned there's also another area you can come off of this 
And I guess I'll be back to show you where that area is. I mean, I'm going to have to come back. I planned on coming back. Um, and there, are, I need this Geo for a lot of reasons now that I'm thinking about it. Because it grants me ability to buy a lot of... A lot of maps. We're going to need them. Especially being that... You know. They cost money. So there's that. But these areas are really easy to run through. Especially this these few areas that we're running through now. These areas are more run through than I think any other place. Why? Because the City of Tears is just like... It's not the hub area, but it feels like the hub area a lot of the time. It's often the place I'll teleport to to go to certain areas or just kind of dick around in because it's a fun place. So, yeah, the City of Tears is like basically a hub area. Um, and you have to run through here a few times for a certain thing that, we might, that we're probably going to do later. Uh, I think we have to do it for completion-based things. So we'll have to do that. And this is like the main path you go because it's the fastest way to get to whatever I was talking about. <sighs> it's fine, though. We will not be venturing up that elevator for a while, nor be dealing with whatever this little area is quite yet because this area is difficult and we need more levels. Damn. Okay. Well, that's fine. So I have a few more enemies down there to actually fight to get my essence. I would like it for no reason other than the fact that... Yeah, I don't even know why I'm down here. Genuinely don't. I guess I just wanted to show it off. I think that's exactly why. So, yeah. Mr. Shade, Mr. Shade. Where the fuck is he? He's far... How is he farther in this area? I died... I don't even know. Oh, these guys, if you hit them, they get big. Yo, guy. Seriously, how the hell did you get over? Oh, okay, this is this is bad. So if they hit each other, they expand. Uh, yeah. So don't let them. Yo, what? You can do that? I didn't know you could do that. What the fuck? This is blowing my mind, man. There's so many things happening here that I never knew could happen. Either way, down here. And to the right. Oh, God, that's the area I was talking about. Right here, this is the bench. This is what I wanted. Why? No reason at all, actually. There's no reason. And I actually want to make my way back up to the City of Tears again. Uh, luckily for us, we're just fine because we have the wall climbing ability. Just, I wanted to come down here and get that bench because I think what it does, it adds immediately to our map selection because Cornifer, we know, is already at a different area. He's at the... A place that we've been that I can't see the name of because we don't technically the name of it. Uh, but I'll just tell you the name. It's called the Ancient Basin. They were there. We don't know what that place is, though. So, shh. So, there's that. And let's head back up. This area also sucks, but not nearly as much as Deep Nest. And that's just how the cookie crumbles, bitch. Okay? Alright, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna head back. Not quite the deep nest yet, because I would like to um, explore a little bit more in these areas and just give you a little taste of what's to come. And then continue through deep nest, because we actually should go through deep nest now. Um, so... Yeah, but there is a few areas that are to come that are very close. And I am very happy with my performance there. So yeah, let's head back. And I think I'll end the episode on the tram and show you whatever I want to show you 
next episode. Why? Dude, because fuck you. All right, I'm going to do whatever I damn please. All right, my YouTube videos. And also, it puts you on edge, so you're most likely, more likely to watch the next video because you are interested in whatever I have to say. Or not. I honestly, it's probably a not type situation, and that's fine. So, yeah. All right, come in here, sit in the tram. Alrighty, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.